Good morning. My name is David Berry. I'm the hospital's chief operating officer, and it's my privilege to uh, welcome you to be here today. We're so glad uh, that you're part of uh, what is now our third annual event that our patients and staff enjoy so much as we uh, uh, take a chance to uh, do something special for you. Uh, along with our commitments to safety uh, and excellent outcomes, making sure that our young patients feel comfortable and comforted while they're here is really terribly important to us. Uh, and to that end, our good friend and board member, Mr. French Hill, is here with us today, along with a very special guest to, uh, get special guest to make a special presentation to our patients. French, glad to have you with us. Thank you, David. Thanks. Well, it's always a treat to be back at uh, Children's Hospital and see all of our boys and girls who are getting the best care in Arkansas, and you're gonna feel better soon. And for many of us, when we're worried about how we feel, you know, teddy bears are always a great source of comfort. And whether you're sad or happy, it's fun to celebrate with one of these great teddy bears. So how did they come into being? Well, a long time ago, when President Theodore Roosevelt was president at the turn of the century, he went on a bear hunt down in Mississippi. And he was excited about it, and he really looked forward to it. And the plantation owners down in Mississippi wanted it to be successful, so they tied an old bear up to a tree to try to get the president to make sure he got a bear. Well, of course, he said, no way was he going to shoot a tethered bear like that. Well, the New York cartoonists were down there on the trip with the president, and they drew the president not shooting a little teeny tiny bear cub and it became a world-famous cartoon. And a famous manufacturer up in New York then started making bears, little stuffed bears for that Christmas. And ever since that time, they were called teddy bears in honor of President Roosevelt not shooting uh, the famous bear in Mississippi. And next week is President Teddy Roosevelt's 150th, uh, third, 153rd birthday. He's going to be, a, can you believe that? On October 27th. So we're going to, we can't blow out 153 candles today because, oh, oh, what? Oh, well, Colonel Roosevelt. Delighted to see you, Mr. Davis. Oh, it's nice to see you, Colonel. Delighted to see you. Good morning. Look at these Good boys and girls. All. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Theodore Roosevelt. Step up I, I here, wonder please. if I might say hello. Oh, I'm so delighted to see each and every one of you here and Thank you for celebrating my birthday. Oh, I'm so glad. The only thing that I liked more than books was children. And I'm so glad to see some children here and bully for the work of Arkansas Children's Hospital. You make us all so proud by the work that you do here. And, and I give you encouragement. I wonder if you know that, that I was very sick with asthma when I was a young boy. Why, some nights I could barely even blow out the candle beside my bed. And we did not have the great medicine you have today. In my day, the cure for asthma was worse than the disease. Can you imagine giving a small boy with asthma a cigar to smoke? Oh my, they thought the coughing would help stimulate my breathing. They give me bitter black coffee to drink too, and Ipecac syrup. And you know Ipecac syrup. It's something that you drink in order to see your lunch twice. It's a very unpleasant thing. But today we're here to celebrate the fact that you are doing well and getting better with the help of your families and the doctors and nurses here. There is great work being done here at Arkansas Children's Hospital. And I'm so very glad that the Theodore Roosevelt Association is working with the hospital to make sure that each and every child that would like to have one will have a teddy bear. It's a wonderful legacy of mine, perhaps even greater than the Panama Canal and the modern Navy and the national parks and the national forests, is this symbol of love and comfort that we share with one another. So if I may, on with the festivities. Let us enjoy ourselves today. Let us celebrate all of the good work being done here and let us share in a celebration of life and care and love here at Arkansas Children's Hospital. Bully for ACH. Bully for you, Mr. Hill. Thank you, Colonel. <laughs> Let's sing the Colonel happy birthday. Oh, tremendous. Happy birthday to, to me. You. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Teddy. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Bully! 
tremendous. Thank you so much. Thank you. Quite a pleasure. You bet. Please. May uh, I come say meet, hello? Please meet our oh, yeah. Wonderful to see you. How are you today? What's your name? And perhaps I'm shaking the hand of a future president of the United States. Delightful to see you all. What's your name? Oh, I'm so glad to meet you. And do you like reading books? Oh, I love reading books. I hope you've got some books with you. I hope so. How are you today? Oh, may I? Absolutely. Would you like one? Oh, I'm so glad. That's such a beautiful teddy bear. Thank you. Thank you kindly, and I hope you do well. There's a little story about the teddy bear on that card. And thanks to you, French, for uh, uh, making it possible for Colonel Roosevelt to be with us today. Uh, we gladly accept on behalf of our patients and their families these, uh, these terrific bears. It's a great celebration of the legacy of Theodore Roosevelt. Uh, and we so appreciate your continued support and that of the Theodore Roosevelt Association for our patients and their families and for the care, love, and hope that we deliver to the children of Arkansas. Thanks for being here, and uh, we hope you enjoy your bears. That's all we have. Thanks for you being here today. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>